Great. So today you're going to start your next program, and it's called Code Check. So make sure you've got a copy of this instruction sheet. It should look like what's on the screen right now. I'm just going to go through that, show you a working program, talk about some things, some hints for you to get started on it. Then you're going to be writing your hierarchy chart and um, send the code. Okay, so here it is, Code Check. The local credit union has instituted a new credit system and would like to have account numbers that are self-checking in order to have some protection against fraud and clerical errors. They have devised a system as follows. So first, the account numbers will all be nine digits long. The ninth digit, which is the rightmost one, can be calculated by either adding, subtracting, or multiplying all of the preceding or earlier digits and finding the rightmost digit of the result. That sounds a little confusing, but I'll show you an answer or example in a few seconds. So it says the operation, whether you're adding, subtracting, or multiplying, to be performed is determined by the first digit. So if the first digit is a multiple of three, so that means if it's zero, three, six, or nine, then the operation is going to be addition. And then if the first digit of the account number is one more than a multiple of three, so if it's one, four, or seven, then we're going to be subtracting. And if the first digit is two more than a multiple of three, so if it's two, five, or eight, then we're going to be multiplying. And the account number is valid if the last digit of the account number is the same as the last digit of the operation number. Okay, so it's a little confusing, but let me give you some examples here. Okay, so first off, I've got an account number of that right here. So what I need to do first is just get the first digit. So if you're writing the program, my first step would be figure out what that first digit is. So for this one, first digit is equal to three. Okay, so then if the first digit is a multiple of three, so take that first digit, if I mod that by three, if the remainder is zero, then we're adding. This one is a multiple of three, so we're adding. Okay, so now I know I'm adding. I'm supposed to be adding all of the preceding digits and finding the rightmost digit as a result. Now, here's the thing that a lot of people mess up. You're adding all the individual digits except for the last one. Eight's not getting added. So it's adding three plus one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six plus four, stopping and getting the answer, 28. And it says the account number is valid if the last digit of the account number, so 8, is the same as the last digit of the operation number. So that means the last digit of the account number. Since 8 is equal to the last digit of the account number, that's why I'm saying valid. Okay, so start thinking. I'm going to do a couple more examples down here, talk you through them, think about what you would program would need to do. First step. Find the first digit of the account number. So first digit equals seven. Second step, determine if that's a multiple of three, one more than a multiple of three, or two more than a multiple of three. Well, seven's one more than a multiple of three, because when I mod it by three, I get one. So since it's one, we're going to uh, subtract all of the other digits. So I'm going to start with seven. And then go minus 1, minus 0, minus 4, all the way down to the second to last digit. So I'm not looking at that 5 when I'm subtracting. And I get negative 20. Next, I checked, is the last digit of that operation, 0, equal to the last digit of the account number? And it's not in this case. That's why it's invalid. Okay, one more example. There's my last account number. Find the first digit. It's 5. Mod it by 3, that's 2 more than a multiple of 3, so we're going to be multiplying. So I multiply all the digits except that last one, so that last 9 gets left off, and that's my answer. Then I compare the last digit of my answer to the last digit of the account number. Since they're not the same, it's invalid. So the task says to write a program that will be used to check the validity of the account numbers. Okay? So hopefully at this point, you at least understand how to tell if an account number is valid or invalid. If you don't, call me over and ask. But there's some more specifics on the back. So when you're coding, here's the requirements. You're going to need three classes. Driver class, a code check class, and that utilities class. Now utilities, you're just going to copy and paste in every program for CompSci2. 
So go to like the secretary's project, copy utilities, paste it into the package here. So that way you can do that right heading thing, you know, utilities dot right heading, you put everything in. Okay, this is the important one. So I'm gonna be looking for this one I'm grading. The code check class will include the following non-void methods. So all of these have to be, they have to return something. You have to have a method called add, which adds the digits in the account number and returns a value. I should say adds all the digits except the last one in the account number and returns a value. Subtract does the same thing but subtracts. Multiply does the same thing but multiplies. All of these have to be non-void methods. So essentially the purpose of those methods is to do that. So think about how you would make those. Last digit returns just the last digit of the account number. So you would probably need to give it the account number. Same with these, you would need to give it the account number. So there's your parameter and then you're gonna return just the last digit. And then make decision is a Boolean. So make decision, remember how do you decide if something's valid or invalid? It's gonna need the operation value like 28 or negative 20 or that big number. It's gonna need the last digit of the account number and it's gonna need to check. If those are equal, it's gonna return true. If those are unequal, it's gonna return false. The driver class will read the account number from a file and the file you need to copy and paste in is called cc.dat. And you're gonna use methods from the code check class to determine if the account number is valid. Now this last one needs some discussion too. It says you will need to make use of the char at int k method from the string class. So you're actually not going to read the account numbers in as integers. You're going to read them in as strings. So in your list of variables, all of you should have string account number. And the reason why we're going to read those in as strings is because like when I'm doing this type of work, I'm going to need to get at the individual digits. Now there's no easy way if this is an integer to get at the fifth digit, but if it's a string, we can just use this char at stuff that you probably haven't seen before. So for example, if I have a string and it's called S and my string is Fairport, F is at space zero, A is at space one, I is at space, that's a two, hang on. I need to make this a little bit bigger so that I can write. Okay, so in string Fairport, Fairport F's at zero, A's at one, I is space two, R is space three, etc. So if I ask for S, because that's the name of the string, dot char at zero, it's going to give me the character that's at space zero, which is F. I want S dot char at three, I go zero, one, two, three, that's why it gives me R. Now if I ask for S dot char at eight, since this is space zero, count it out, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there is no space eight, or index eight. So that's why I would get an error in this case. Okay, so Here's the cc.dat file. That's the first account number I'm reading in. So from the file, you're gonna to have to read in the account number and you know how to do file reading. But at that point, you're gonna have account num equal to whatever that first account number was. I'm not gonna get it right. Um, what was it? Three one two three four five six four eight. Three one two three four five six one eight. Something like that. Doesn't matter. But if I want to get at this first digit right here, so let's say I wanted to say int first digit. I could say since the string is called account number, I would instead of saying s dot, I would say account num dot char at, if I want this value that's at index zero, so it'd be char at zero, but that would be a problem because this would return me the character of three. I wanna make that into the integer of three. How do I do that? Well, it's not just casting as an int. Remember, in our big method machine packet, there was one I started that I said you would need in code check. There's
there it is. Define a method which will convert a digit character to its numerical equivalent. Right now we have the digit character 3 by count num dot char at 0. If I want to make that into its integer, we have to take that character and subtract 48 because of that ASCII chart. So anytime you, oops, anytime you want to make one of these values in the account number its integer equivalent, you're going to have to tack, I ran out of room here, Let's see if I can move this over, you're going to have to tack on a minus 48, and now it's an integer. Okay, so now first digit would actually be the integer 3. And then you can go on and use that. If that mod 3 is 0, you're going to add. If it's 1, you're going to multiply. Otherwise, you're going to subtract. All right, so again, you have to have these non-void methods. I'm going to be checking that you have these and that they do what the description says they do here. Um, the driver is just going to be kind of like, remember, like your old run method. So use secretaries, use the gradebook class. It's going to read in the account number. It's going to find the first digit, and then it's going to make you do a series of if-elses to see if you're adding, subtracting, or multiplying. You should just, the driver, so I'm reading the second bullet now. The driver class will read the account number from the file, use methods from code check to determine if the account is valid, and output the result. You need to make use of the char at int k method from the string class. Okay. So I think that gives you a starting value. If I show you what the program looks like when you run it, I'm going to run here. There's my heading. The only thing that should print out is the account number and the conclusion. It should either say valid or invalid. So basically the first one's valid, the next two are invalid, and then they're all valid until the last one. So you can check your answers in the black binder as usual. But that's what it should look like. Okay, so. So the last thing you need is you'll need to get one of these hierarchy chart papers, like you did for secretaries. You're going to take one of these for every program you do in CompSci2. And you can fill out that the program name is code check. Um, you know you're going to have to import some file reading. I already said for variables, you're definitely going to have string account number. And you can have other variables, and you should have other variables probably. And then you're going to have your declaration. So you should have something like the code check class. So I'm going to say code check. C1 equals new code check. have the heading so you'll have utilities dot right heading and look back at secretaries if you don't remember exactly how to use this but you first put the name of the program you're doing in this case it's code check I'm gonna put dot 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 after that because you'll put your name period my name all that kind of stuff and then you're gonna start reading in I don't need exact code but I need enough that I know that you know what you're doing so I'm going to just say read in from cc.dat. That's the file. So I don't need you to write the try and catch, but you know when you actually type your program, you'll need that. And the first thing you're going to have is a count num. Equals sc.next. Because sc.next reads it in as a string. So now I've got it. Now I can do the last digit thing I just said. Or first digit, sorry. So that's this int. So I need to add that to my list. Int first digit. And then we're going to use that char at thing that I just talked about. So the next step will be first digit equals account num. Dot char at zero. I need that minus 48 to turn it in into an integer. Anytime you use char at in this program, you're going to need that minus 48. So remember that. And then that's all I want to give you for now. Now that you know the first digit, 
go on from there. Figure out if it's a multiple of three, one more than a multiple of three, or two more, add, subtract, multiply. Any of those methods that you write that I said you needed, add, subtract, multiply, last digit, make decision, all of those should be listed on the back of your program here, or the back of this sheet. Turn it over on the back, and this will be the code check class. So I should see all these methods written on this side. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you're stuck, let me know as well, but hopefully that gives you at least a starting point of where to go. Good luck.